Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome to AdsDrives. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to support your graphics card or any other part like even a CPU cooler in your PC case if you wish to do so. Now this video is just an experiment really. It's a DIY solution for something that doesn't have to be done especially if you don't transport your PC and if you are transporting your PC somewhere else you should remove at least two parts so your graphics card and your CPU cooler. But if for some reason you don't like that your card is a bit crooked because heavier cards actually do lean down on this particular um, side because here you have a support and the bottom you have a support and you have no support on the right side so it kind of leans down a bit down a bit. Now as you see here I support it so it's perfectly straight. Now there are a few things to be aware of and I will show them to you so don't just jump in and do it. Um, but if you in case you do want to do something like that I'm going to show you how it's done. Um, once again now guys, just before we start, it's an experiment. Um, I'm not sure how risky it is at all, but um, it seems okay. I've had this solution for over a week and everything is fine. But obviously be careful and have in mind that there are some complications that can happen after or during the installation. So let's get started. First things first, you need your suspension cables. Now they come in different flavors as you see. I have a number of them here. Now too thin is obviously not good enough for the solution that I'm using here to tie them up. As you see two screws and something like that. Once there's many of them it's fine but if you're using just single it's not going to work. Um, if you have different kind of a clamp mechanism or something like that it will work fine. But also one thing to be aware of, even if you go for something thicker like that, go with for something that, as you see here, it's shielded-ish with um, a plastic shroud. Now the reason for that obviously is if you're using it for a back blade or something like that, it might touch somewhere to um, electronic parts and obviously you don't want to short circuit it. So ideally definitely use something shielded as that. And obviously it will allow you to install it without scratching any parts on the graphics card or your case or something like that. So that's first thing to be aware of. Second thing, when you have all your parts and you know, you're ready to install, the way I would install is I would secure it, um, say on the top first, and then put down a cable without cutting it obviously. You can do it like that. Um, and secure the bottom of the part where the graphics card is and very gently lift the graphics card and secure it. Now as you see these cables are not that tight there. They're barely supporting the graphics card's weight and the reason for that is if you're gonna pull the graphics card too much you're gonna have flex upwards this time so obviously not something that you would desire either. Um, also to be aware of is if you tighten them too tight you can even break the graphics card or the PCI Express slot. So don't tighten them too tight, you know, as long as they support graphics card where you wanted it to be, that's it, your job is done. So yeah, two things out of equation there. Another thing I suppose to be aware of, um, even though there is a shield provided, it's not really heat proof. Well, not in all cases. So if you're buying, if you can, double check if it's a heat proof to up to at least 100 degrees or something like that or 90 degrees because these parts um, do get hot. Um, if you can't be sure, obviously maybe, you know, before installing it, you can just secure it on somewhere on here, leave it hanging and leave it for a week or so, or at least a couple of days while you're gaming and just see if, you know, it's going to discolor or start melting, worst case scenario, or something like that. Now, I had this cable for over a week now. I don't have any discoloration, anything like that, so they're fine. Um, and I would expect these cables to be shield shielded with a proper thing, not with something that would melt from, I don't know, 50, 60 degrees. That's for sure. So that's that. Um, and last but not least, obviously, before you even um, trying to install something like that, check your secure points on the top of the case because you know long and behold if you don't have where to secure it on the top of the case what you're going to do then i'm going to show you this is corsair 450d case i'm going to show you where i secured it on the top so there you go that's the top of the case now i did remove the grill from the top obviously before installing it 
and I removed the where rubber grommets I think here so I moved them from here to there because I don't need them at the moment and as they were installed I had this mesh to protect the top of the case from dust and actually even when I installed the mesh there are slight bumps as you go like this with your hand but as you put the case away you don't really see that much like as you see here even on the video now you can't really see it that well so yeah guys that's the thing installed and um, what else can i say if you want to do something like that drop into any of the hardware stores and pick up some cable now i think it's um, suspension or support cable that's what it's called and usually it's in the section for the lights and things that you can mount on the ceiling um, because mainly that's what they are used for especially the ones without the shielding but where you can find those you probably will be able to find something like that as well and obviously as you buy them make sure you have these um, things these clamps to secure them there's different types many different types of clamps so if you can't find something like i'm using you'll be definitely able to find something else um, for your own project so yeah guys that's about it i hope you liked the video if you did click the like button and subscribe for more videos to come any questions leave them at the comment section down below and yeah thanks for watching have a nice day